Uh, hi YouTube, it's me. I'm just going to do a review about the Lego Space Police set. Um, set number um, set number 8400. So it's in exactly 100 on the, in the 100 time table. Um, it's 5 to 12 year olds and uh, it's Lego and Space Police. Shows the guy. I don't really get that thing. Could be any kind. And there's there. That's lots of writing. Not for zero to three year olds. And it's, it's quite spacey. It's cool. Uh, the background looks a bit, bit obvious that it's green screen though. Because you know what's real, really there and what's not. Um, but it's quite good, yeah. Now. I'll give a rating at the end for the actual thing. Well, first I'll do the actual thing, then I'll do the person. So, here it is. It doesn't actually look as good as it would have been, but... Yeah, it's quite cool. So, um, it bends forward and backwards and go up. It's quite cool. It does quite a lot of things compared for such a small thing. Uh, it got fire at the back. It's quite simple how the flyers put in though. Um, let's bend again. Uh, it's got sort of a bit strange the telescope sort of thing, but it looks a bit strange like that also. And yeah, it's quite cool. So and but. Okay, and now for the real guy, which I really like. It's not my favourite one out of all the Space Police. Because I, I think about all the Space Police guys, got, um, bad guys, they look a lot cooler. But this guy's a bit normal, but because he's just like, everything's the same about him. But, like other things, he's sort of like the same, sh same sort of shape as a normal guy. But different things features so he's got at the belly button he's got a thing that attaches on from his tummy to the trousers so it's like a skull on, on the belt of his body body so you have to be wearing those trousers to make it right look good um his trousers look a bit he looks a bit strange in those because he looks like he's from grease lightning or whatever it's called uh uh, and and he's got a strange eye on his belly button. It looks a bit strange when he has those black sort of black hands instead. But I really, what I really like is his helmet. I think that's really cool. But you might not like it. You can just comment. Um, his face. He looks a bit strange when he's freckly, but I like it. It all fits together though when uh, when you look at it at the end. So I like the guy. Um, and now, now it's time for the rating out of all of it. Well, first I'll just do a little bit of talking about um, the guy and the thing together. Well, yeah, his hands fit on quite well, but sometimes if you just shake it a bit, it falls off really easily. So you have to push on quite tight. So that's a bit annoying, but... And also his helmet gets annoying at this bit. But it's quite nice. Really? Yeah, it looks better when a guy's on it than when the the machine's all about all on his own. So I really like it like that. And now I'll just rate it, all of it put together. Um, well, for the, I'll first do the box. Box is, it's nice. Um, stranger background uh, so I'll give it like a 4 out of 5 so it's quite good um, the person is nice yeah I really like him I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 uh, the machine by itself not the best because it's got that strange red thing I'll give it 3.5 out of 5 uh, and finally the guy and the sheen put together oh i really like it i'll give it 4.7 out of 
nine. So that's really it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and look at my other ones. And if there's any questions, just put down a comment. If you think I'm wrong about something, put down a comment. And uh, and what else you think could have been better. So thank you and goodbye.